Hello guys and welcome back to And Then There Was Style, your YouTube home decor channel. Now if you have not taken the time to do so already, do me a big favor and please subscribe to the channel. It will help me out a lot and also let me know that you're liking the videos. Speaking of videos, go and take a look at some of our previous videos. You guys, I have videos on just about like every single topic and we are actually expanding from there. But in today's video, let's take a look at a shabby, chic bathroom. So a couple of things before we hop in this video. One, definitely hop on over to Facebook.com and join our group. It is free. And then there was style. Also follow us on TikTok and Pinterest and then there was style. Secondly, please excuse my voice in this video. I'm still struggling with allergies, so I'm just sounding very nasally right now. But let's hop straight into this video. Shabby chic style is a style that includes items with appearances of age and and signs of wear. It's really sweet, it's vintage, and honestly, it's rather feminine. And I can say that it is incredibly popular right now. Decorating your bathroom in this style is a great and stylish idea. So let's talk about how to do it. Number one, colors and textures. Shabby chic spaces are usually about whitewashing and pastels, all dusty and soft shades. Use weathered wood, maybe shabby chic metal with a vintage feel. Also be sure to incorporate lace, floral textiles, and keep everything, or almost everything, just really shabby. Number two, shabby chic bathroom furniture. Shabby chic whitewashed shelves and glass cabinets are your basics for such a bathroom. You can leave them not so distressed, but still white or pastel. Make your own glass cabinets from some old cabinets or windows, age and whitewash them. Towel cabinets with glass, vintage metal shelves and claw foot tubs will basically make your shabby chic bathroom decor. You can even use an old ladder or give it an age look artificially. <laughs> Go get a brand new ladder and just distress it. Go for a beautiful bathroom space divider made of some old French door or a couple of windows if you have enough space to divide. A thrift store, a garage sale, an old estate sale, these are perfect places to find these pieces for probably not much money. Number three, textiles. Shabby chic textiles are lace, ruffled white linens, and bleached fabrics. They add a beautiful shower curtain with ruffles, a sink curtain, and some pastel shade, and of course some rugs with shabby chic looks. Don't forget your towels. They should also match your decor. So let's talk about some shabby chic decor details. This style is all about details and touches that really create a vibe or a mood. So pay special attention to them. Whitewash shabby hand mirror hung on a shelf, a, a vintage jar for various bathroom stuff, a stunning patina vintage mirror in a beautiful frame. That's what you need to create a look. You basically want every piece that you bring in your restroom to have this shabby chic feel to continue your theme. Hang cool heart-shaped sachets above your bathtub to enjoy the aroma while having a bath. A crystal statement chandelier can give your bathroom a slight province feel. Just look at all the examples and just get inspired. So let's get into some of the examples that are shown in today's video. 
So open shelving and glass jars definitely gave this restroom just a really feminine, shabby chic feel. It also gave the homeowner a really creative and beautiful way to store some of their bathroom essentials. Here's another great example of utilizing a glass jar. You guys, glass jars are so inexpensive and they are always available at my Goodwill and Salvation Army. So if it's two things I have noticed with this style, it is to create a really beautiful shabby chic restroom. Shiplap and clawfoot tubs are just essential. They just scream shabby chic. Okay guys, so I had to show you this because never have I ever seen a bathroom with an exterior door. It may be common, I have just never seen this before. I wouldn't want it, but then the other part of me just kind of thinks it's so cool. I don't know. Oh,